get these uh, lyrics sorted out. Because, uh, we don't want to stop now. Good. Okay. So, uh, firstly, I feel sorry for you now. I mean, you got to come on to follow that. But uh, this young lady had a great fight recently in America, challenging for the title as well. We're going to make her feel very welcome right now. Challenging, I believe, one of the best uh, fighters in, in the world, pound for pound, in Clarissa Shields. From Scotland, big round of applause for Hannah Rankin. having me. Uh, thanks very much, Eddie. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity for me to go over here in New York again. I love New York. Uh, it's even got some Scottish rain going on, so I'm very happy. Um, it's an amazing opportunity for me to be fighting Crystal Shields. Uh, it's a huge fight, and one that I wanted, so I'm really happy I've got it. Um, thank you to Matchroom and to The Zone. Um, and to Salita so Promotions for making it happen. I want to thank my promotional team uh, with Sam Kiddick, my manager, and my um, trainer, Noel Callan, for getting me ready for this opportunity. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic fight. Both Carissa and I have really uh, aggressive styles and come forward fights, so I'm looking forward to putting that into action in Kansas. Uh, so I hope you're ready for it, Carissa. I'm ready to go. and. I think we've got one hell of a fight coming up, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Thanks so much. So much more decorum. You know, it's like, you know, very good, very good. Uh, Carissa, you know, you can mix it up a little bit. I'm sure it's going to be respectful. As I said, someone who uh, we are absolutely thrilled to have fight on the zone. You saw her ratings recently on another network were just phenomenal. It's brilliant to bring her to the platform in this fight. And a big round of applause, Olympic gold medalist, current unified champion of the world, Clarissa Shields. Hi. <laughs> well, y'all got the smile. party started, huh? All right. Um, well, I'd like to thank Eddie Hearn, thank the zone, thank my manager, Mark Taffer. We had so many changes for this fight. I was, I was so ready to fight against Christina Hammer, and then my heart got broken because she got sick. But overall, I, I, um, I never stopped training. I stayed in the gym. I stayed ready. And uh, my opponent switched about two or three times, but me, but you guys know I don't really train for my opponents. And Eddie, he said I'm an Olympic gold medalist. I'm a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Oh. The only one in the U.S. <laughs> no, that's cool. But, you know, I, got, I have so many accomplishments, so I can't really – it's hard to keep up, you know, even for myself. I don't know right now if I'm a unified champion or if I'm close to being undisputed, whatever. I just know I got a whole lot of belts at home. Um, really, um, I just really just been training, you know, I'm not really here to trash talk with, you know, Hannah Rankin, you know, I do all my trash talking on social media. Y'all can follow my Twitter, <laughs> at Clarissa Shields, follow my Instagram, at Clarissa Shields. And, um, you know, only being 6-0 and and having two world titles at 168, two world titles at 160, um, trying to become unified champion. I don't really have to, you know, keep saying I'm the greatest woman of all time because you guys see it. You know, um, when you talk about women that box the way that I do, it's only one that's at the top with me, and that's Katie Taylor. Anybody else is like, they're like 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. And I think that with me being myself, I'm number one, and Katie Taylor is one and a half. So that's how great she is, you know, and uh, all the respect to all the women at box. You know, we have more than one fight to, you know, fight, not just fighting each other, of course, but, you know, fighting for equal pay, equal time on TV. Um, you know, just that equal, you know, we don't get as much sponsorships or endorsements as the men. And everybody want us to play nice, you know, but eh, y'all know I'm not really that nice. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but... I try to be, but once I get inside the ring, you know, I'm a, I'm a beast. I like to fight, and you know, come November 17th, I think I'm just gonna show Hannah that she's tough, but she's too damn tough. You know, she wants to stay there. You know, I hope you work on your head moving because I'm, I got a hell of an uppercut I've been working on, and this might, and it might put you down. So hopefully you've been working on your stuff. But me, I'm not training to be on Hannah ranking level. You know, a girl that she just got beat by, I take her out within four rounds, and that's Alicia Napoleon. So, you know, I think it's a great fight. Hopefully she do come in and, you know, try to box me or something, but she's trying to come straight forward. It'll be an early night. she be smart. Maybe she lasts a little longer. But I'm the greatest one of all time. There's a lot of men that can't beat me, so that's just where we're at. Thank you, guys.
Oh, if only we could give Clarissa a bit of confidence, she'd go a long way. <laughs> this is a, a great heavyweight matchup. Two undefeated heavyweights, um, which we believe could could end up being for the WBA world title as well. We wait for news from that next week. Uh, this man was actually supposed to box tonight in uh, Bulgaria. He made the trip over. Um, again, he's a man who we've had in camp with Anthony Joshua for a while now. Undefeated fighter, plenty of ambition, very strong, can punch as well, great size, and someone that's been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. And I'm pleased we've given it to him because he's a good guy and, and a fine fighter as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause all the way from Romania, Bogdan Dino. Hi, everybody. Um... I'm very glad to, to be here in front of you. I want to say a big uh, thanks to uh, Matchroom Boxing, represented by Eddie Hearn. <laughs> uh, I want to say thanks to Greco Promotion, to Team Promotion, my manager. Uh, and uh, be sure, I'm very motivated for this fight and uh, will be a great, great, great show. Thank you. I can't lie, I would have quite laughed if he swung one on you there, you know. I mean, we all would have been rolling around, but this, this man is, uh, like I said, one of the most active heavyweights in world boxing right now. He demolished Thomas Adamek in his backyard in Chicago a couple of weeks ago. It was a, a great atmosphere there. And, you know, he's ready now, I believe, for a shot at a world title. I think he's going to be very, very, very difficult to beat. People talk about his size, but people don't talk about his chin or his endurance or his engine or his punk selection or his accuracy. And I think he's a real, real player in the heavyweight division. And certainly at the zone, we're really looking at turning him into a star of the division. He's got a great personality, he's got a big heart, and he can really fight. Ladies and gentlemen, headlining this card... Big New York, round of applause, and Brooklyn, out of Brooklyn, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, it's an honor to be here to fighting um, back in Kansas for the first time. I mean, I'm still stuck. I don't know. I didn't eat breakfast yet, so amazingly, I've been this whole day on empty. But, um, you know, round of applause for this gentleman here. Uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of guys that I don't have any animosity for right now. It's just... Uh, Part of the business, you know, he's an undefeated guy from Romania. I know he's coming to fight, I know he's in shape, he's been in training camp. Um, I've been in Romania twice with uh, the Super Combat out there, Edward Irma, and those guys. Um, I'm a big fan of Romanian culture and cabbage rolls. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn it with the cabbage roll from November 17th. You know? <laughs> That's how I expect because we're fighters. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a long journey to get to where we're at today, and I gotta take my hat off to Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing, and the Zone, GCP Boxing, BBA Promotions, man. It's been a long journey, man, being, a, being around guys that actually know what they're doing and finally getting to the stage and, um, you know, getting a title shot, you know. So what can I say, man? Um, the proof is in the pudding. I keep proving people wrong that being big is not a crime, you know what I mean? Big baby's big, and uh, we're going to keep throwing big punches and get big wins. So uh, I got nothing really smart to say, man. Um, I love you guys. I love the fans. I love everybody across the world. I'm the people's champ, not just New York, Belize. Or the U.S. champ. I'm the people champ. I'm your champ. I'm your kids champ. So I talk junk. You know, we're fighters. We talk junk. That's part of the sport. You know, sometimes we take it a little too far sometimes. And uh, we got to, you know, hold it down. But, you know, people are watching. You know, but uh, as a fighter, our life's on the line. So it's a different energy that comes out when we're talking. So I got to be one to punch in the face. So when you see Gabe Rosado and, you know, Lewis talking junk, you know, it's, they're allowed to do that because they're fighters. You know, they like to talk smack each other, but as fans, you know, sometimes you got to jump in between it. Don't worry about it. That's their job. It's part of the sport. So, and um, I give respect to everybody in this card and, you know, finally getting a big headline card. Thanks to Metro Boxing and Eddie Hearn. And uh, I'm going to put on a show and I'm going in for the kill. I am really motivated. Um, you know, I've been in the gym since the last fight, hitting the weights, you know, just trying to improve on everything I've been doing. And I'm fighting aggressive now. I went back to my old fighting style, just coming forward, but throwing my shots together instead of, Quantity, I'm doing quality. I'm picking my shot. So um, I feel my hands have been feeling really awesome in training camp. And um, come November 17, I'm always going for the knockout. You know, my ultimate goal is fight the, the bigger names in the division. You know, Anthony Joshua, Dylan White, uh, 
uh, Deontay, a.k.a. Beyonce Wilder, you know I can't stand that guy. But, uh, you know, let's get this win, move on to the next, and hopefully if Dylan White doesn't fight AJ, I turn that English muffin to Tosa Strudel. So I thank you guys, appreciate you, <laughs> and come out on November 17th in Kansas City. Let's go. Thanks, Jarrell. A brilliant fight card, November 17th, live on the zone, and a great, great bunch of fighters and personalities up here that's going to make this a very exciting card. Um, we're going to have a couple of heads-to-heads up here now, and then we're all going to be available for anyone who needs us, and then we're going to go down and watch a great night of boxing at Madison Square Garden. Thank you so much for attending. Roll on November 17th in Kansas. Thank you.